Hunter x Hunter has officially broken the record for the longest manga on hiatus. Yes, you guys heard me right. Hunter x Hunter has officially broken the record for the longest manga on hiatus and only real Phantom Man supporters would know that. Ori did a video discussing the dark continent episode one, but due to YouTube hating, they gave me a copyright strike. It still hasn't gone away. So I decided why not remake the video discussing the most hypest time skip arc in all of entertainment history so make sure you guys have all notifications make sure you guys subscribe and all that stuff for hunter x hunter content and if you guys want manhwa content yes you guys heard me right manhwa content like tower of god solo leveling let me know because yo you guys heard me at the beginning of the intro hunter x hunter has officially broken the record for the manga that has been on the longest hiatus yes i believe it surpassed the very first iconic time where listen only real hunter x hunter fans will remember when it went on hiatus during the chimera and arc yes where the chimera ant arc was previewing the anime that was the longest hiatus when the manga was gone and now it has officially surpassed that so hunter x hunter i think it's safe to say that it's going to be a spooky a lot of time until we can finally get the dark continent episode one but once we finally do arrive if we do alive if i'm still alive while i'm making videos if i can still tell you guys about the greatness this is the stuff that would be on the episode one for the dark continent which would be obviously the phantom troops new abilities yes we already know what the Phantom Troop, they have been hunting down Hasoka. Obviously, we do know that Hasoka, he is on the Dark Continent trip. So, once they finally do meet him, and once they finally do get their revenge, because in case you guys have been living underneath the rock and didn't know, Hasoka killed all very important members of the Phantom Troop. Yes, we saw Shaunark, he took an L. So, that just goes to show you that Hasoka, he was doing some spooky things, and possibly one of the best things i'm excited for is the country of cockhead yes we do know that the princes all of them they have been introduced and they are some of the strongest characters yet especially in the fourth prince i'm not even gonna try to pronounce his name because i don't want to mess it up but no in all seriousness we do know that once the princes are revealed because we know that that's one of the main reasons why we're going to the dark continent so they can actually expand their territory so the prince that's chosen out of the death battle between all 12 of them i believe that one will definitely be the leader of the dark continent and from the looks of it the fourth one he is looking very very spooky and of course we have to get into dawn freaks killua's ancestors everybody who was on the dark continent because in case you guys have been living underneath the rock and didn't know dawn freaks is waiting for us on the dark continent yes dawn freaks is waiting for us on the dark continent and we know that he's been there for hundreds of years so this leads me to believe that gone does come from the dark continent and we already know that killua's family they've been to the dark continent back so that's nothing new we just have to see killua finally go there and we have to see the mystery of aluka and all the other calamities so i definitely am excited for the first episode of the dark continent i do think that if we do get it in this lifetime it could definitely be the best time skip arc ever comment what you guys see down below subscribe if you haven't peace out